wings report in. Red leader standing by. The subterranean Venice, an island on the dark waters of underground rivers. You always hear rough stories circulating about this place. I hear it is all one huge den of thieves. But there is something I know for sure. Pavel reached Venice, and if I'm not late, he's still here. Finding the Dark One is still my main mission. But now I see I must also uncover Corbett's plans so that I can warn the Order about them. Wow. <sighs> Seems like we made it. Hey, are you asleep there? What do you think of the local fish, huh? Aren't they charming? Mm. Seemed moody, though. Looks like somebody went through there before us and angered them. Open up! The fishermen are back from the seas! Yeah, I see you all right. And who might that be? I picked the guy up in the tunnel. You don't think I should have left him there, do you? What? And make my life easy? Of course not. First is Reyes, now this. What is this? And I keep raising a lower the gate. You can bring a girl for once. And what would you do with one if I brought her, Zemanovich, huh? You're way too old for that stuff. By the way, you better lower the gate, or else a woman might actually come. The one dressed in black and bearing a scythe. <laughs> Never fear, Semyonovich is gonna outlive you all. Hey, Fidor, how's fishing? Uh, not even a bite, unless you count the shrimps. And they got a few more out of me than I'd like. I was oh, saved by this land, aren't you? Nice to meet you, Artyom. Thanks for your help. So what exactly did happen? The shrimps were all over us as soon as we got to the fork. Almost took my raft apart. Yeah. What the hell gives? Oh, that's easy. The Reds passed through here, going to meet our esteemed neighbors. Didn't seem to care what they stirred up. So that's why. Look, Artyom, I suppose there is no hiding. Venice is full of gangsters. Jula, the scum of the earth. So don't you start any shit. I don't want any trouble. Simon! Hey! Simon! I want to talk to you! Look, do you know where might our red guests be? In the brothel, of course. Who's that with you? This is Artyom, the scourge of the shrimps. <laughs> you should see him shoot. <laughs> I never met anyone quite as good as him. A gunslinger, eh? Would you help me take out a few bad guys? Simon, I freaking knew it. This is getting old. But almost all of them are gathered at the storage facility. Look, if this isn't the right time, I don't know what is. Between the two of us, we might be able to take them out. I told you countless times already, and I'm going to tell you again. No! I don't need the shit around here! Do you get me? Yeah, I got you. Right. Then I'm going to leave you two. Okay. <laughs> An station of criminals. How is it he's in charge? Hey, Simon! You're because he can do magic. Aren't you? Yeah, what's up? Hello, Dave here with Zen Zen's Game here, and today we are back on Metro Last Light Redux. Sorry for my. <coughs> sorry for sound a little hoarse right now. Something about this time of year always makes me like this. Okay, so our first moral point is going to be to a beggar. You can listen to this dialogue, but nah, it's not too important. What do you mean, two? 
What about Dimon and Sir? They can find some themselves. You know what? You are one fucking bastard. Respect. Good fish and great price. Why the fuck are you just staring? Ah, uh, uh, young man, I uh, got a few bullets to spare. How about one more? Thanks again. Like, yeah, you can't give him two. It doesn't really matter. You just get the moral point for the one. Okay, uh... Now there's gonna be another beggar... ...in an alley... ...where two kids are drawing near the marketplace. And I think you can also give one to a musician. No, 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 we don't want to go that way yet. Huh. Huh. I guess it doesn't do that anymore. Yeah, I don't see any kids. Oh wait, there's a there's a kids, but I don't see a beggar nearby. Is it him? It says that it, there's gonna be a beggar near where these kids are drawing on the wall, but I'm not. Listen, bro. You know, do you have a bullet to spare? Ah, there we go. Okay, and the next one we gotta listen to some dialogue from the mayor or whatever he wants to call himself. Hello, Mr. Magic. So, did you take a look around? I have some business with you. Let's be frank. Seems like you're stuck here for good. Sunken tunnels everywhere. And if you go to Novokuznieskaya, you're as good as dead, probably. Seems like you're out of options. So, here's the deal. You could just stay here with us. You're young, tough, you can handle things, and we'll find you a job in no time. Especially since most of those newcomers here are just human refuse from Novokuznetsky. Just think about it. You start working with our fishermen, get a bit acquainted with things, then you might actually like it here. We could even find you a nice girl. Well, I won't pressure you. Go get some rest for now, and try to stay out of trouble. The gangsters seem to be jumpy today. Hmm. Okay, so some of these uh, moral points are actually for the original Metro game. So some of them are going to be a little... Some of them don't work in the Redux what version. The <laughs> None of your fucking business. Next one, we got to buy a... A drink called the Bullet from a bartender. Ah, here we go. That's unusual. A new face. Hello. Hey. Going to stay here for some time? On business, perhaps? Thanks, man. <laughs> Good stuff, ain't it? Another one. Uh, you can keep drinking, but you'll black out. Then you. <clears throat> You're welcome. <laughs> Good stuff, ain't it? Another one. Yes. Please. <laughs> hey, you got him back. <laughs> oh, 
Blah, blah. Buzz up. Yeah, sorry, buddy. Uh, not like I handle my liquor. Jeez. Kind of wish I wouldn't have done that just because I know it doesn't seem right to do all that. Okay, so now we're going to a shooting range where this is where the shambler really comes in handy. Because. We kind of have to to get another moral hey, point. The rules are simple. You take yourselves and the targets are waiting. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of a moral point that ties into another moral point. Which I don't know why you get one for. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure you get all that money back if you, uh, if you win. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Come on, come on. Oh boy, that was close. Here's your winning. Take position, please. Come on, come on, come on. Too bad can't just chuck a grenade in there. Dang it. Prize for you. The targets usually last till the evening. Well, our barbecue is going to be busy for a while now. Good for shaving. And now we go this way. All right, it's okay. All right, hush, baby, hush. What happened? I lost my teddy bear. Hush, baby, it's all right. We'll find your teddy bear. Don't cry. Where did you walk today? I wanted to show him the shooting range, and then I got yelled at and ran. There you go, buddy. My teddy bear! Mom, the teddy bear is back! Where have you been? Were the buttons good? Don't leave me again! Oh, thank you so much. I was at a loss. What should you say? This person helped your teddy bear come home, so what should you say? Thank you. 
Thank you. You're a godsend. Simon brought that teddy bear from the surface. Toys are scarce here, as you know. So he grew really fond of it. How about we go home now? Can I play here some more? All right, but not for long. We'll go home soon. Okay, so the last one is gonna be after some cutscenes. Peeping Tom. Now, I'm probably gonna have to uh, censor or edit, just edit some stuff down. Sure? Great. I have to serve all his friends for free and still pay him his cut. <laughs> Alright, we had some fun. Now it's time for work. So, first thing, we pay Kinsley and you head it to Comrade Corbett. Tell him the virus container has been successfully delivered to Oktyabrska, okay? Hey, pretty boy. Let's Why go. are you just standing <laughs> Can't wait to touch me, can you, Daragoy? Well, if you want it that bad. What kind of dance would you like, sweetie? Now, you can Tell buy a lap so dance from her, but. Fine. That's all? I. Oh, really? Wouldn't recommend it. To come back? I'm always around. Hold on, I want to see if I can put anything. Mm, no. Anything for this? Nope. I love that they... I love that you can pay for them to remove a laser. Now for this part, we just can't kill anyone. But there is a path to sneak around them. Now, personally, I would think that if you kill or knock out bandits, that you would get a moral point, but... No, you actually don't, which, I don't know, weird for me. Where did they have a, like a little path built? Almost like they want people to sneak around. You see that guy in the helmet? He gave us a case last time he was here, and Keithley sent it off to Octoberskaya. Said he was full of flyers for the working people. Flyers, my ass. That case at the lock. So, what was in there? I wish I knew. Yeah, quite the conversation. Yeah, you just gotta time it all right. Trust me, just don't turn off any of the lights because they'll actually notice it. You're a lot better just sneaking past whenever you can. Yeah, it's actually pretty easy to sneak past them. Th Honestly, this is the only part that's really... Oh, damn it, I should have gone over there. Yeah, 
I'm attaching the filter now. Hell with that! I need a drink! Wait a minute, Spiria. What's that shit about the filter? Just a regular gas mask filter. The mask they have here, it fucking stinks. But the filter takes care of that all right. That's bullshit. No need to spoil a good filter and make the guys wait longer. Yeah! What do you mean, good? How do you get good from a used filter? You fucking distilled your brains already, I see. That shit's going to kill us all. Fuck you. The filter has a certain You think I am? Huh? We got a deal. Besides, we need your flyer. We got them to Tiaborska and went right back. Ah, factory made. The real deal. Still smell the oil. I heard a freak show came to Tiaborska. Is that right? Yeah. Cut. Have... Drop your weapon, Billet. Hands behind your head. Well, 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 what an unexpected encounter. Looking for the dark one? Huh? Well, maybe there is a hope for you and Polis. But then um, you're too late. Yeah. Those dark ones of yours are the real deal, yeah. Comrade Corbut had an eye on them for a long time. Just imagine them domesticated, then unleashed on the enemy. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Steady, steady, steady now. All right, all right. You're on top, D'Artagnan. You are on top. What now? Uh, you were looking for the dark one, right? Well, he is nearby at Oktyabrskaya. I can take you there. No tricks this time. You have my word. Everyone on the ground now! Artyom? No! Shit! He got away! Why did you attack the storage alone? You could have tried to call me. Well, things worked out. But you'll have to get out of here on the double. I know an exit to the surface here. There's a swamp, but it's traversable. Let's go. Okay, where did you come from? But, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's all the moral points for this mission. The next one's going to be a little uh, confusing. Like, it's kind of a random moral point. I'll explain more in the next episode. Oh, I never did get a new gas mask. Oh, dang it. I, sh I should have. I love that this has a gas mask on it, yet I'm still going to be wearing a gas mask. Oh, I thought it was going to be more dialogue. So next episode we will be back out on the surface and uh I'm gonna get to a part that kinda reminds me of from a movie. I'll explain more in the next episode. But right now I'm gonna go take a little break and see if I can get my voice sounding a little better. But yeah, that is gonna be for this episode. So with all that being said, Thank you all so much for watching. Like to subscribe. Leave a like. As always, please leave me a comment down below. Here's a comment on how I can improve in these, and I love chatting with y'all. Now, if you want to chat with me directly or check out updates on the channel, check me on my Twitter at Antilles Gaming. And with all that being said, I will see all of you in the next episode.